beautiful Half Moon Bay, California, next to San Francisco. The coastline out here is amazing. And the best part is we have a CA Corvette with us. We just left Laguna Seco Raceway. We have a, a Supra that just showed up, a yellow Supra modded, which is, uh, that, that's off script. I didn't see that one coming. And to my right, we have Travis in his Acura NSX. How you doing, man? Hey, doing all right. How do you like this car, man? I don't usually see many Acura NSXs. This thing looks amazing. Thanks. How, how much horsepower does it have again? Um, It's about 573, 500 uh, to the engine, and then there's two electric motors. You know, I want to check that out. So you, you can see the engine right in this car. That looks amazing. It actually says NXX. Does this pop up and open actually? Yeah, let's do it. So being hybrid, how does that power delivery actually feel when you get on the gas? Um, pretty good. So what happens is the electric motors take over to give you like instant torque um, to take, take over for the turbo lag. On track then. That, that must feel really good because it's got torque vectoring, right? Yeah, torque vectoring. So uh, it'll deliver power to the front wheels. Well, you know what, man? How do you like tracking this car? Because honestly, I never see the new NSX at the racetrack, plus seeing you at Laguna Seca with it, it's just so cool. Um, it's pretty good. I used to track the previous gen NSX, but I wanted something with a little bit more power, so I picked this one up. Um, it handles amazing. Um, the all-wheel drive, it, it really, I think it really shines. A lot faster lap times with it, definitely. Um, it, it feels just as raw, even though it's like electric steering rack um, oh, okay. and a lot of assist, uh, driver assist. Um, but in track mode, it lets, it lets you um, get to the limit a little bit more. So it's an easy car to drive fast, is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's definitely easy to drive fast. And then here we have the CA Corvette, pretty similar, right, being mid-engine now. However, this, this is not a hybrid. So I have a, a gigantic frunk, is, is what they call it, I can show you. Come on, pop open. And then the storage is, is uh, it's pretty good. I wonder though, if they do make a hybrid version of this, man, oh, that would that'd be, be pretty cool because, well, based on what you're telling me, that the systems in that car, it works phenomenally well. You probably don't have a no, frunk, not, right? Yeah, there's definitely not a frunk under here. It's mainly, uh, there's the electric motors in front and then the, the cooling. Wow, man, that, that's a lot of technology just packed in there. Um, this is completely different. Down. Yeah, this car just seems so advanced. And for the price point, are there any other hybrid mid-engine supercars that you can get like this one for, for you know, the, the mid 100s. There's I don't not, believe right? there is any. Yeah, so this car has technology most cars don't, especially it's kind of doing what the CA Corvette, what, she, what Chevy did with this car, that being a mid-engine platform for an affordable price. So then if they do, I, I think there's a good amount of room to, to fit some electric motors, but obviously this, you've got a lot more space over here. So I do wonder if Chevy will go down this route, but man, that would be so cool if they did. You know what, Travis? These side intakes, they're so different than mine. And actually, it's completely open through here. It's like the flying buttresses of the uh, the Ford GT, right? I didn't realize that. Yeah, it goes all the way through here. And then it comes out actually over the taillight. Really? Not a lot of people know that. I yeah, it comes out oh, yeah, over right. there. Travis, yep. would you mind if you got for a spin? Because I've never been in NSX before. And honestly, this thing just fascinates me, man. It is so cool. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, now that, that that's, uh, that's pretty futuristic. I like that. And it has grooves for your hands, actually. Like indentations for your fingers. And you pull this open. Man, I like that. Okay, so here we are getting inside the Acura NSX. You've got the same red accent interior that my car has. That's a that's pretty cool. I think it makes it, it makes it feel like a race car, doesn't it? Yeah, it gives definitely. you the right kind of vibe. <laughs> this car feels it feels special to me. You know that it feels unlike any other mid-engine sports car I've I've really seen, man. And that display too. So being a hybrid. When is there a way to start out, start it up in a quiet mode? That being electric motors um, only? No, it actually always starts up here. It always starts up with engine um, to warm up the engine, and after a while, it can turn off the motor. Okay, that's pretty cool, man. Well, I'm excited about this. Let's uh, <laughs> let's do this to start this up. You said hit right here. Yeah. Wow, that that sounds interesting, man. In these gauges. Man, it's pretty trippy because is that an LCD display on the inside? On the outside, it's got a um. Yeah, it's real trim around real trim, uh, yeah. around the LCD that, full LCD it, display. It, it didn't turn off, right? So yeah, it went in, to hybrid mode. Dude, that's so trippy, man! Oh my gosh! If I want to make the engine always on, is there a special way to do that? Oh, so sport mode. Sport, sport plus. Okay. Sport plus. That yeah. makes sense, and then all these dials so it's pretty it's pretty similar having things laid out in like this stream of buttons like in the ca corvette i'll show you how it is in that car this is this car is nice i love the side mirrors too and that view 
dude, that side intake looks so cool. Wow. It feels pretty trippy. I heard the turbos just now. Do you drive a manual? All the on time, the yeah. Oh, you do? The dual okay. clutch, I love dual clutches. Okay. But the shift speeds in this car, man, this is instant. I, I like how many this. Gears? In the C8? Oh, the C8 has eight gears. Eight. The eighth gear is like a highway gear. So on the highway, it gets um, 35 miles per gallon is the highest I've ever gotten in that car. Which, going to the track, it really it really helps. Because <laughs> it gets so expensive, right? But this is smooth, man. I didn't think this car would, would be this smooth. This You can live with this car. And right now, we're, we're in sport mode again, right? So with yeah, different drive plus, modes, yeah. does it change the exhaust at all? Um, yeah, it opens up in uh, Sport Plus, and then it changes okay. if we go to... Uh, comfort or not if we go to normal sport so is it in the loudest setting right now correct so if i roll down the windows a tiny bit into a slight pull we're gonna hear the uh all the motors there's <laughs> nine speeds too so yeah <laughs> downshift one time dude that, it's so trippy oh the, the power delivery is so different than the mclaren's well you feel like you get a lot more power in the higher rpms right because with the turbos kicking in but not just that it's interesting, interesting because when the, the electric kicks in, it's right away, and that's giving you that instant torque. Xing a corner, that's gonna help a lot, right? Did you yeah. notice that on Laguna Seca? Like exiting turn, you know, two and, and three? Yeah, when pulling out, you definitely have that power boost. And then with that all wheel drive and the torque factoring, it's not, you, you don't ever feel like it's gonna kick out from you left to right? Oh, it still kicks out. It, can still it still kick kicks it out. out. There you go. Out. <laughs> the view in here, though, like the visibility out the back, I'll be honest with you, looking straight behind me, it's you can see a lot more out that back window than you can with the Corvette. That's why I think the Corvette you have that HD rear video camera because it's so there's so many reflections I think with the Corvette with those you know two windows. Um, in this, it's very easy to see. The visibility is awesome in this car, and it just it just seems so cool sitting in here. Man, that's got to be addicting. Whenever I get off the throttle, you can hear the turbos, right? So you do you do that all yeah, day. I love the blow off valve. Yeah, I love hearing it. Here we go, getting on power. Woo, dude! This is so cool. I love hearing those turbos. I think Chevrolet, they've got to do that with a, like the ZR1 coming out because it adds such an awesome flair. with those electric motors. Oh my gosh, this car is so much fun. And it's hooked up. Oh my gosh. And the high revving nature of it. See, for, for the C8, you're shifting at 6,500 RPM because it's got the push rod Chevy V8. And this, the high revving nature, this is what you want on the racetrack, I think. It really, it's so progressive. This is a really good mountain road, I think, for people to have fun on. That, that blew away my expectations it really did but you know what since you let me drive this car you want to test out the Sia Corvette yeah so that being the first mid-engine Corvette <laughs> okay okay the car is now on right now you are in normal drive mode first of which foot in the brake pull this up now you're in drive and then if you hit this button down you're in manual however for these kind of roads you can put on the front end lift which is this button right here front end is be raising up so in your car you don't have any physical Climb up on Zio, or is uh, it all on the LCD? No, there's only temperature up and down. Oh, heads up display. Oh, you like that? Nice. Well, it's gonna get cool. So I'm gonna put you in my favorite mode right now. It's called That's Z cool. mode. You customize whatever settings you want. Okay. And come on, you gotta try manual shifting, dude. You, I, I do? Okay. You gotta um, try, come okay. on. Okay. So then turn right. Turn right? Yeah, turn okay. right, that's where he went. So the, the front lift is gonna go down uh, automatically. Something I did notice, the steering, the rotation, you need to turn the wheel a lot to turn. How's it to display? It kicks, Different? Um, yeah, it kicks it. it... Yeah, the power, power takes a little bit time to come on, but it has a lot of torque. So I feel like at any, yeah, yeah, that, that part's kind of cool. It, it <laughs> have to be high revving to get any kind of power out of it. Well, it has so much torque. End, it, it's planted, right? You can feel how. Yeah, it is rear bias. And there we go. It's a different car. It's a different car. It's weird. It's very stiff when I'm going through the turns, but it's actually a smooth ride when I'm driving. I don't yeah. know how to explain it. It's really weird. I don't feel as much body roll. 
Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it's it's weird. It feels really smooth, yet there's no body roll. For the balancing, yes, it feels very planted. But this, um, yeah, it just, it feels very solid. I like it. I think the NSX is easier to drive. Um, it feels like as soon as I get on this, it, it has a different personality. As soon as I gun it, it feels like, oh, you're in race car mode, right? It just, <laughs> it just switches the race car instant. I'm like, okay. Whereas that car is like, it's a, it's a linear, it's like a, a smoother. As you yeah. push on, you like, I, yeah, this goes zero to one, zero to hundred real quick. Meaning as far as, oh, I need to, I feel the torque. That is something too. You have to put a little bit more steering input as I'm driving compared okay. to this one. Um, it definitely feels planted. The thing that I, I thought was really cool is in the in the corners, it's very stable. But as we go, as we're, we're just cruising, it feels very, um, it's just a smooth ride. Um, and it, it's very, it's just a very different car. I mean, I feel the power come on at any RPM. That part's really good because there's so much torque. But you know what, man? Want to do launch control? Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Oh. There we go. Oh. <laughs> 2.8. Oh, nice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so you felt it? Yeah, I felt it. Man, that was pretty cool. For being rear wheel drive, would you have expected that? No, 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 not at all. right? It was interesting. There was still slip there. So Is had we had, though? yeah, it's, it's so we actually would have had a quicker time. You want to try launch control in the NSX? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like, okay, so we are back in Travis's NSX and man, it is no, the engine's not on right now, is it? No, it, it's completely electric. electric. <laughs> oh my gosh. To do launch control, we need to be in track mode. Okay. So I'm going to switch over to track mode, which you hold um, for a few seconds and then it switches over. The cool thing is once you're in track mode, all you do is uh, put your foot on the brake, put your foot on the gas, and then let off of the brake. Left foot on the brake, gas, it says launch mode ready. Wow. Dude. I can feel the electric motors, you know that? That, that makes a huge difference yeah, accelerating. It, it's a, such a different sensation being all wheel drive. Because at C8, it kind of pushes you. This, it feels like it just grabs you and throws you forward. You know that? Is that a good way to put it? Yeah. It, it, yeah. You know, it, even here, like wheel spin with it too, it just, it just takes, off. takes off. It's kind of quiet when it first takes off, but you feel it. Anyways, Travis, I really appreciate this. I, I've had so much fun today. This car it is so amazing. I'm glad you had the chance to you know, experience the CA Corvette too. It, it's one of those things that I think the Corvette's doing really good stepping into a new direction. I really like the heads up display. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help me out. Also subscribe for much more great content coming your way. And also don't forget to check out Travis's Instagram account, that being Professor Quack Quack. Make sure to give him a follow because he completely documents what it's like owning the new Acura NSX, plus racing it at Laguna Seca, Thunder Hill, and other racetracks here in California. And you spot a new Civic Type R, right? Yeah. That's a pretty, pretty cool collection right there. Thanks for watching again, guys. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Episode.